Hello there, my name's Laura and I'm fashion and beauty news editor for Hello Magazine Online and welcome to the latest edition of Hello Mum on the Run. Now today we're going to be talking about the wonder that is Downton Abbey. The brand new film has just dropped in cinemas and we are obsessed already, we can't wait to see it. You might notice that the leading ladies, Lady Mary and Lady Edith always look beautiful so we have delved into the archives to find out what makeup was used on the show and in the films. Now Downton Abbey was set in the 1930s so it was before kind of high impact makeup arrived on the scene and the emphasis was all on the English rose skin, um, flushed cheeks and very little makeup. The makeup artist on set of the series was Anne Oldman and she's given a variety of interviews as to what products she used on her leading ladies. She has said that the makeup look itself is extremely pared back, there's not a lot of products going on but there is a fair few ones that make all the actresses look beautiful. So we're going to talk about them today, keep watching. When you watch Downton Abbey, you may notice that the lady's skin always looks totally flawless and these are down to two products only. Now. Anne has said that the products that she uses to create the perfect Downton base are the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Now you've probably heard of this foundation, it's probably one of the most famous that money can buy because it is used by pretty much every celebrity out there from Kim Kardashian to Meghan Markle. And she also uses a fabulous primer by Chanel, the LeBlanc de Chanel. And this primer is really great for securing a totally smooth base but also giving a little bit of luminosity as well. In the 1930s, it was all about the kind of rosy glow, that flushed English rose look, and the product that Anne used on all of the leading ladies at the time was the Stila Combined Lip and Cheek Colour. It used to be in a kind of pen form, but the packaging has since been revamped, and you can still get it today, but now it's in more of a compact size. Um, this is a really great product. We all know how busy life can be, and it's great to have a product that you can just pop in your bag that does everything. It gives a gentle, flush finish on your skin and it equally gives that kind of lovely bitten yet subtle tint on your lips too. Michelle Dockery who plays Lady Mary has actually said that mascara was banned on the set of Downton Abbey and this is probably because that kind of wide-eyed long lash look just was not a thing in the 1930s. Women actually made their own mascara because it hadn't been invented yet. Makeup artist Anne said that they actually dyed the girls' lashes and brows themselves because it kind of gives that kind of distinctive look but it's still supernatural and everything looks defined. A great way to do this yourself is to use a dye kit. I love this one by Eyelaw. They do one for the brows and one for the lashes and it's just a really simple way to kind of add that kind of a bit of colour to those areas so you don't look too washed out. They're all under £10 and really, really easy to use so I thoroughly recommend them. So that's it. They were all the products that are used on the leading ladies of the Downton Abbey series. Now we know there isn't too many there, but just remember the Downton look is all about the kind of natural finish and enhancing what you already have. I'm off to go and watch the new film. Can't wait to see it. But let me know what you think about this video in the comments section below and I will see you next time for another episode of Hello Mum on the Run. Bye.